Okay, so. Whenever we proceed to clean the skin, both topically on the surface or a bit deeper underneath, being hygienic is the most important thing. That's why, well, there are a number of reasons why you should use your bare hands to clean wounds, and especially not spots or blackheads or zits. So what we do first is we take some alcoholic wipes, 70% alcohol, so it won't dehydrate too much. And we open that up, we take the wipe out, and we just sanitize the area that we're going to be working on, okay? And this is just simply to make sure the area is clean and also to make sure it's sterile too so that we don't spread illness or compound something that is already there. One of the reasons you shouldn't kiss your hands is because when you get in there and you start to get the pus or what have you, it can actually spread infection and create more zits for acne. So once we are happy that that is all clear, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. So just with this tool, I will use it to highlight certain areas. Now you can see some areas are more depressed or receded than others. What we're going to concentrate on first is dealing with the ones that are less receded. So just immediately, if I just push this down here, so it encompasses the area that we're working with. And I just push down like this. We can already see that we are getting some results. Okay. Now, as mentioned, we don't want this nasty stuff to spread around. So when we work in an area, we're going to be very careful that we scoop it out and that it doesn't travel to other pores or other areas where it could cause trouble, okay? So we're getting deep in there. Let's try something. Come on a second. So we can use these tools in a variety of ways. This one expands the pore so that I can get in there with these and pull out anything untoward in there with little to no pain. Okay, you can see we're getting quite a lot of residue there. And that's really what we're aiming for. Just to get rid of all that all that nasty. Let's try a different one. So we have these that are receded. Let's try one that isn't. So we'll take first this tool here and just scoop. And there we go. Easy. That one was easy. Now just as an example, so when you use your fingers, you often push down like this. Okay? And there we go. And the zip pops. Yeah? What you're doing also is you're pushing down on the other areas around your face. 
and you can squeeze and get that juice out. But then if you're using your bare fingers, you're likely to spread that around, which is where these tools come in. It just means that we can just get down there and scoop it up and it's gone. Scoop it up, okay? And we can just take a look in there as well, you know? You can kind of do your own thing predominantly. But you just want to remember that the last thing you want to do is spread any kind of infection or anything like that around your face. You don't want to make the situation worse, okay? And there, you see, look at that. Look at this pus. It's not, it's not gonna kill you, but it ain't pretty. This is an example to show you how not to take care of your skin so that you can take better care of your skin. Now, one thing I will point out is that this kind of operation, you can get these tools on the internet or whatever, but ultimately it's better to get a professional to perform this kind of work because Then you got someone to blame if it goes wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Then they'll do it right. Hygienically and safely. Okay. Okay. And scoop. And we missed it. That's okay. Go back in for seconds. <laughs> If you do start to feel an inflammation, contact your doctor. He or she will prescribe you something to help with that, okay? Don't do it alone. That's what I'm saying. Don't do it alone. You don't have to do it alone, you know? There are lots of services out there. And people who are very willing to perform these kind of services. So make the most of them. Once I had a really bad zig on the end of my nose. And as you know, the nose has a very thin layer 
My skin has been cold. And I thought, oh gee, this will be, this will be easy. What I'll do is I'll get a pin that I found and I'll just scoop it out like we're doing now. Just scoop it out. Little did I know that that pin that I didn't sterilize, I didn't even wash, that pin was covered in dirt. And guess what? I got an infection. So, hygiene is so important. And not just skin care, but general well-being as well, you know. Wash your hair. Wash your hands after going to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> and there we go, look at that. That's coming up big time now, so let's, let's deal with this. as it doesn't go too far. That's the last thing we want. And just again to demonstrate, let's say I think I'm squeezing this set here. I'm going to push down. I'm actually encouraging and popping multiple sets, okay? And then maybe I wipe this bit off, okay? Then I walk away Then these very small residual amounts will remain there. And what happens to those? Well, then I go to touch my face later on and all of a sudden I'm promoting the sanitary conditions on my skin. So it's very important Sailor Man, look at that.
It's okay. We're almost there. Almost done. Just with the fingers, just to see. Other side, like that. So we know that there's a little residual in there, which we'll deal with right now. Scoop that up, after you get. Scoop that up, after you get. Scoop that up, and after you get. Scoop that up, and a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and we're happy. Good new full away. And give the patient yourself a nice hygienic scrub. or see your doctor or just someone who's an expert probably not me okay good well done thank you 